Welcome back to Instables, everyone, again, as we continue on with lower highs here. Are we going to continue on lower here as we have our candle closing just below and rejecting our trend line to the downside? I'm going to go over exactly what has to happen for us to continue back higher. And if we continue lower, what exactly that confirmation would look like, again, leading into Jackson Hole on Thursday and then Powell's Peaking on Friday. I'm going to go over exactly what we're looking for from here. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you are a day trader, if you're looking for pre-market news before market open, major volatile moves, for example, today with HKD, not even the largest runner of the day, but did run on the day here. As you guys can see, again, mentioning a spike out the gate, mentioning in pre-market, looking for a continuation, breaking above pre-market high, mentioning after morning rush, we were continuing on into newer highs, continue down into newer highs all the way up to $8.40 from our pre-market high here at $5.77, above our $6 psychological level. Again, go to instables.com in the description below, and for only $15 a month, you will never miss a breakout alert throughout the day again. So jumping into the spy with you guys here again, looking at our daily candle structure so we can anticipate what we're looking for going into Thursday with Jackson Hole again tomorrow being Wednesday with our anticipation from Wednesday leading into Thursday, in my opinion, as we again have a close just below our eight day, we are cautious to the upside, but we are not heavy to the downside again with possible support that we could have here if we possibly have a bounce back above our eight day. But from here, surely we are cautious to the upside, any spike we are playing short term to the downside from here since we have resistance to the upside. However, again, not exactly what your intraday move wants to be. You want to see exactly how Jackson Hole closes. Will we possibly close back above our eight day for that continuation on higher with our eight day crossing back above our 21? Or will we possibly continue back below our eight day, close below and look for that continuation short term to test our prior lows and then be looking for that possible continuation on lower if we get confirmation. But looking at our weekly chart as we do look for that confirmation higher or lower we sit within consolidation within our prior body candle showing that we are looking for proof of concept to either bounce back higher or lower here in my opinion as we sit on this possible bear flag here that could play out short term on our weekly chart we are cautious to the upside again very cautious but very much not heavy to the downside after our large move this could very much be an inside bar open for a continuation back higher above our eight day later into our weekly chart so again we are looking to see exactly how we close back above our eight day will we get back above our eight weekly living average here and what exactly we will close as after powell speaking on friday and jackson hole on thursday now looking at our monthly candle structure again as we mentioned our inside bar open from our prior wicks and resistance to the upside here again inside bar open showing that we were cautious to the upside again on our swing of momentum and sure enough getting that rejection pullback here now leading into the end of the month as we have not exactly an engulfing candle here this could be a possible wick to the downside, a possible consolidated move before we either continue back lower or we do continue to respect our eight month moving average to the upside. That will be the watch. What exactly we do close this candle as is going to be that possible continuation. Will we possibly close with an inside bar close here and possibly continue with wicks to the downside for a continuation and overextension into our prior highs from 2021. That will be the monthly watch here. That is our overall perspective. Keeping in mind, again, our eight day moving average, looking to see exactly how we close after Jackson Hole and after Powell speaks. Again, as we have our decrease in sell pressure that we have been getting, we are very much looking for a possible bounce back, but we want to see our 12 cross back above our 26 till we get bullish here. So this is the key here. Will we get our 12 back above our 26? Will we continue on with this decrease in sell pressure? It's exactly what we're looking for from here. Now, again, with that said, if you are a day trader, again, if you're looking for pre-market news before market open, again, like we mentioned with HKD today, again, mentioning in pre-market, a large mover that we mentioned from prior multiple years now that we have been doing alerts in the Instables room. And again, with HKD, we had a major parabolic move prior and we mentioned that this was a parabolic mover that we have had prior so we were looking for that possible continuation continued on above pre-market high all the way up to eight dollars and forty cents from pre-market high here at five dollars and eighty three cents go to instables.com in the description below and for only fifteen dollars a month you will never miss a breakout alert throughout the day again and again all of you instables continuing to take what the market gives us like we had here with hkd higher risk movers leading into jackson hole a large large data set that we're going to have coming out on thursday and then powell speaking on friday how we digest into next week 
will be where our swing momentum does head next. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in pre-market.